Hmm, let's see. What kind of horrible, boring activity I can do to torture my science students this time? Hmm. Uh huh, I got it. Boys, what did I tell you about picking up your autos? Don't trap me! Boys, what did I tell you about cleaning up Bodie's autos? Boys? Boys? Better not be up there playing Switch again. Boys, that's it. If you don't get downstairs and clean up that auto right this instant, I'm taking away the Switch. Did you notice all those pushes and pulls making all those parts move? Pushes and pulls make things go. After this video, you're going to have a chance to make your very own cause and effect machine made out of materials found from your house. Here are the rules for this challenge. Your machine must include one cause, at least one mechanism, and one effect. When finished, share your cause and effect machine on Seesaw. Make sure your plan is okay with your parents, and finally, be safe and get permission to use your materials. Speaking of everyday materials found in your home, here are a few ideas to get you started. The choices are endless, and it's completely up to you what and how much you want to use. Make your own domino set using books, board games, or even Jenga blocks. Your imagination is the limit. Maybe you can get outside and use some sports equipment, or a scooter, or a bicycle, or a monster truck stomping over a school bus, school bus, school bus. What about a roll of tape? When's the last time you checked out your Nerf arsenal? Zip line, sliders, things that fly, things that spin. Bakugan. Check out the Legos. Or how about a rainbow colored unicorn yo yo? Train tracks. Bloom powered vehicles. Stuffies have turned pirate. Arr! Fidget spinners. Bunch of random stuff found in your junk drawer. Blocks. Kapla. Marble Runs, Bodie's Auto Garage, or Build Your Own. Anything that you can think of that moves from a push or pull. And don't forget your mom's most favorite priceless vases and plates. Uh, just kidding. Please consider the following advice. Keep it simple. The cause and effect machine you just saw at the beginning of this video took a lot of time. I mean a lot of time. But hey, I'm a professional. I got paid for it. Hey, wait a minute. I spent my whole entire weekend doing that. Hmm. 
Here's a one example of a simple cause and effect machine that solves the problem and still meets all the criteria. In fact, you can make an even simpler one if you wanted to. I'm Batman. A cause. How did your cause and effect machine start? What forces were involved? Batman pushes the first soap bottle over with his foot. I'm Batman. Mechanism. This explains how did it happen? You need at least one mechanism in your design. I chose to include three. Mechanism one. All three soap bottles push each other over. Mechanism two. The last soap bottle pushes the toy car, making it move. Mechanism three. The toy car pushes the ball, making it move to the edge of the table. Effect. How did it stop? Gravity pulls the ball down into the cup. The bottom of the cup pushes back with an equal amount of force. Those forces become balanced, and therefore the ball stops moving. Before it's your turn to create your own design, let's have another look at those pushes and pulls in action. Did I have a cause? At least one mechanism? And an effect? You bet I did. Finally, it is now time for you to create your own cause and effect machines, engineers. When you're done, head on over to Seesaw to find out what to do with it. And remember, Batman says, keep it simple and have fun. I'm Batman.